Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Coach Lilia. I am a certified relationship coach and a narcissist abuse survivor. And today in this video, I want to talk to you all about narcissism and specifically the question that you all are asking, whether a narcissist is shaped by nature or nurture. How is the narcissist made? So before I dive into anything, I want you to understand that whatever we're about to talk about doesn't excuse the narcissistic abuse. It doesn't excuse their behavior. So if you're somebody that is in a relationship with someone like that, or if you have a friend that is a narcissist or a parent, remind yourself it doesn't excuse their abusive behavior. You need to set those boundaries. You need to have the, that radical acceptance that the person is not going to change ever. Even if they try, they do very little progress and most of them don't try because they have self-awareness, but they're okay being who they are. So you can't change them. Radically accept them. Understand that that person will never have any love or empathy in them. And that's it. You don't stay in those relationships. You need to be honest with yourself. So let's go ahead and dive into what we're actually going to talk about. Nature or nurture? What is it? Unfortunately, it's nurture. And I say unfortunately because it is a product of parenting for the most part. Of course, we can't completely single genes out of this, right? Just because we can't point at a gene and say that's responsible for narcissism doesn't mean the genetics have no uh, influence in this because our brain is our computer that runs the show. So there is some sort of predisposition. You can think of somebody who is going to grow up to develop narcissism as somebody who does have those tendencies that are just more vulnerable to get triggered by the environment to develop NPD. However, we can't just point at a gene and say that's responsible for it, right? We have to look at the full cluster here. Now, what are the two ways that a narcissist can be shaped by nurture, by parenting? So the first way here is when the kid grows up in adverse childhood experiences. So that trauma is severe. It's neglect, it's abuse, it's that inconsistency in parenting. The kid never has a secured caregiver. So they always have to be on the lookout. They don't have the emotions mirrored to them. They don't develop closeness to anyone. So as a child, they're on their own. They're not bathed properly. They're not fed properly. They're just left there to grow up on their own. And maybe they're abused severely on top of that. So basically the kid develops either avoidant attachment style or maybe just insecure attachment style. Whatever it may be, there's severe trauma. And that essentially leaves the kid with no room for any closeness in their life. And when they grow up, they don't feel secure with anyone. No close relationships they are always on the lookout. They feel like the world is out to get them, especially their close partner, if they end up having that partner. They're always going to be thinking that the world and the partner is out to get them, and they will try to get back at their partner before anything even happens, because that is how they were brought up. This basically leaves the child with no self-regulation. They have no sense of self, they have no awareness of their emotions, and they have no capacity to develop any close relationships, and that's where a narcissist develops. Now, I want to remind you that this is not always the case. It doesn't mean that you're going to take a child and raise them this way and then they're going to develop NPD. They may develop some other trauma, but it doesn't have to be NPD. It doesn't have to be that personality disorder. However, this is one of the ways that a narcissist can be, can be brought up. Now, the second way here is when the child is both overindulged and underindulged by the parents, by the caregivers. So what do I mean by that? Basically, let's take a scenario where a child is being raised by a narcissistic parent and the parent is raising them as their narcissistic extension of self, as their narcissistic supply. So there is no unconditional love in that family. It's only conditional because again, the kid is being raised as narcissistic supply. So very early in life, the child will learn what conditional love is. Basically, entitlement is going to be modeled to them. Narcissism is going to be modeled to them, right? That grandiosity, that lack of empathy, the emotions are never going to be mirrored. And maybe they'll even have that modeling of the narcissistic parent abusing the non-narcissistic parent. And they're going to understand and normalize that dynamic. So when the narcissistic parent is going to raise the child as their extension of self, they're going to not only model narcissism, but they're also not going to provide any of that emotional that the child needs. 
When the kid has a bad day in school, their emotions are going to be shunned. They're not going to be able to talk about that stuff. They're not going to be able to get vulnerable with a parent that doesn't have it in them. So again, empathy, emotional empathy is not modeled to them. And the child grows up with no sense of emotions, with no sense of self, and essentially with no unconditional love in them because it wasn't modeled to them. Another thing that's going to happen here is that the child will actually think that the mom that's a narcissist or the dad that's a narcissist actually love them because they don't know any other love. The only kind of love they know is that conditional love. And they will throughout their life try to basically gain that conditional love from the parent by living the narrative that mommy or daddy like to see because they are not allowed to be their authentic selves. That's not something that's welcomed in that household. So they have to shut down what they actually want to be and feel. They have to shut down their emotions and just live in that narrative form that mom or dad like to see so that they can receive that conditional love. So the child grows up very confused. They don't have a sense of self. They don't know who they are. And that's where you have another narcissist raised by that kind of parenting. Again, this doesn't guarantee that the narcissist is going to be raised in that household because there's always other outside environmental factors, right? There's always other mentors that could be in that child's life that could basically undo the gaslighting, undo the manipulation, undo the neglect. However, these are the two ways that can very likely lead to an NPD individual in the future. And I repeat myself again, this does not give an excuse for their abusive behavior. It is very sad that this is truly something that is shaped by parenting, but we can't undo those past traumas for them. That is something that the narcissist has to basically have self-awareness of. They have to have the desire to not be toxic to others anymore, and they have to put in the work on themselves. Because as you understand, when the child grows up with no sense of self, with no sense of feeling those emotions, they don't give themselves the permission to feel emotional empathy. It wasn't modeled to them. It was shamed. And now whenever you trigger that vulnerability in them, whenever they feel like emotions are about to come up, they get angry because the emotions trigger shame. Shame triggers anger and anger transforms into rage. And that's where if you shower the narcissist with more love and try to be more empathic towards them, you will only make them more angry because they will feel like the love that you're giving to them is because you see that vulnerability in them and that will trigger anger and anger is going to trigger rage as it always does. I really hope this video helps you guys and I want you to not only raise your kids in the right way where you model to them emotional empathy, the most important thing you can do, the most important thing you can do when you're raising your kids, okay? Just to raise them as good human beings. But I also want you to not have that false hope that your narcissistic partner, parent, friend, whatever, is ever going to change. Most likely not, and it's just going to keep chipping away from you, and you need to have that radical acceptance. I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, and of course, subscribe to my channel. And if you are somebody struggling in this kind of relationship, please go ahead and, and uh, schedule that one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. I'm here to help you guys get through this, and I'll see you in my next video.